Excuse me, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to have your attention here for a short while. Dr. Tejun will demonstrate a specimen of a corrected uh, transposition. Uh, you can see the uh, first, uh, uh, this is the atrium. Actually, the, uh, this, this atrium have a uh, right side atrium characteristics. The most uh, prominent characteristic is uh, the oracle shape is uh, wide base and the pyramidal shape and then you can see the uh, right side everywhere and actually I'd like to find the, the coronary sinus but uh, I cannot find and then also uh, this is the right side of the ventricle As you see, the ventricle ha have uh, uh, left ventricle characteristics. This is the inlet, this is the outlet, and then small uh, ventricle septum, and then the severe traffic relation, and there is you no know, traffic septum marginalis, and this is the outlet, and th this is the pulmonary artery. And you can see the uh, left side ventricle. Actually, this specimen is uh, uh, a variable replacement. So we don't see the uh, papillary muscle, but the ventricle have a right to ventricle characteristics. The inlet and outlet is separate by the infinity volume, and then also there are many trabeculations. And also uh, you can see the uh, septum position. Usually uh, in normal heart, usually the right ventricle encircles the left ventricle. So the shape of ventricle is a little curved, but you can see the interventricular septum is a parallel between the ventricle. And also you can see the level of the uh, AV valve. Actually, right side AV valve is a uh, uh, more low, uh, low than the uh, mitral valve. So, uh, and also I have to uh, explain the conduction. In corrected TGA, the conduction is uh, very important. Uh, unfortunately, this patient has uh, no coronary sinus. Uh, it's, uh, actually, it's, uh, uh, coronary sinus atresia, this patient. The coronary sinus should be here, but no penetration. Actually, it's uh, drained to the uh, left SVC. The coronary uh, sinus atrium as this patient. Normally, the uh, AV node is uh, uh, pushed on the eight core triangle. That means uh, uh, we we can have imagine the triangle like a uh, uh, coronary sinus here, and then this is everywhere, and then you can make a uh, uh, <coughs> imagination of a triangle. That means a coarse triangle. But in correct TJ. Usually the AB node should be here, but in ABSD there is a, a division of another uh, in corrected TGA. There is a, a anterior anterior node is here. So uh, when you are doing the uh, double switch operation or other uh, correction of a TGA, we can uh, don't worry about much about the uh, conduction in coronary sinus area, even. Uh, we do better unlooping the coronary sinus and we can utilize that pathway. So uh, anterior node is here and penetrating to ventricle and then the conduction goes through anterior to the ventral valve ripley and uh, pulmonary valve, pulmonary valve, this is a pulmonary valve orifice and the conduction goes through anterior to the pulmonary artery and then usually it uh, goes through this way. So if there is a VST, the conduction is uh, uh, anterior superior. So VST. Uh, okay. No VST. No <laughs> Muscular waste. <laughs> I don't know. Just oh, a man, created <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah, this person is uh, uh, apt to uh, have a replacement. Okay, same characteristics. This is a uh, uh, everywhere. You see here, and then you can see the uh, characteristic of left ventricle, and then. No pulmonary artery, right? Yeah. Atritic. Yeah. Atritic. Yeah. No ventricle. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, th this is pulmonary artery. Yeah. 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 Y
and down to here. And it is on, on the right side, it is intramuscular way, the right bundle. So it, it is in this direction, and, but it's intramuscular instead of uh, subendocardial. That's the reason why we uh, stitch to the, as far as more as possible to stitch in this side so that we can uh, the save the endocardial <coughs> tissue. And also, it is clear there is no conduction system in this area, so this part is okay, and this part would be dangerous, and so we should try to stitch in the, the other side of the ventricle, but in the lower, it, it is possible to do, do like this. Yeah. So, so the, mm. uh, how to incise the uh, breast extension yeah. in correct TG? Yeah. So, <coughs> in, in the pulmonary valve, valve and arterial blood <coughs> balancing is very important. So if a pulmonary valve is, a pulmonary trunk is too big, we can uh, uh, the bend, bend to make it smaller. And if it is too small, we can extend, widen the pulmonary, pulmonary pathway. But in this case, there is no uh, opening. But uh <coughs> so the, it depends on uh, if you want make it wider, the pulmonary artery wider, we can op op open, but as you know, it, the conduction system goes in front of this way, so it, by cutting this may produce some uh, uh, total left ventricle block. So it's not possible, usually possible to open anteriorly the pulmonary artery, but we, we should make a, a kind of alternative way. So it's better to make a <coughs> mm, yeah. and then the if you make want to widen the VSD it can be more epical uh, to exceed so that we can uh, save the pro proximal part of the conduction system. But the, the, the Dr. Sposa said uh, uh, it is safe to make decisions through the pulmonary artery and uh, uh, morphology, left ventricle. Uh -huh. Because uh, uh, not uh, just I think the pulmonary artery, uh, so that is a uh, aorto or vent ventricular plastic. So in, in conventional repair, mm -hmm. the patient had a pulmonary stenosis. Mm -hmm. uh, they make an incision the, uh, to the uh, pulmonary artery to the left, uh, uh, morphology left ventricle. Like in TOF, so uh, 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 the conduction. I think the, it, I'm very curious about the conduction system damage or not. So you said uh, uh, if you if you make incision in front of the pulmonary artery and the uh, morphology left ventricle, the uh, the conduction should be damaged, right? Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, heart with the pulmonary uh, corrected TGA, right, uh, left vent on the right side and uh, right vent on the left side with uh, uh, aorta from the left side right ventricle. So uh, we are we are talking about whether we can uh, make it pulmonary trunk uh, wider if it is small. So the issue is that uh, if the if by the theory, uh, if, if the anterior node is here and goes to go rise to the his bundle and conduction pathway this way, it's not possible to open like this. But uh, uh, but uh, the, the we we don't have clear explanation for every single heart, but it 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 can be the. It, it can be, um, there are several pathways to go <coughs> to the ventricle. So posterior node may dominate in some heart and anterior node may dominate in some other heart. So they may produce some their, their own conduction system or sometimes sling together. It is, uh, uh, the, it is not well documented in histologically, but electrophysiologically, there are some heart with dominant posterior node. Particularly in this case, in 
and this kind of heart with a uh, big pulmonary trunk, it's, it could be uh, more reasonable to understand the, the it can be uh, bi-directional some, in some case. Like we, we, are, we see in the sinus node, they can be either right and left sinus node alternately function uh, in, in, in some, some different cases. So I'm sorry I don't have <laughs> the absolute clear explanation of this kind of conduction, but it is really challenging. And, and Doctor, your, yeah, could you your, your surgery you mentioned for the... But that is more of uh, anatomically corrected. No, in, in, in conventional, in conventional, in conventional, yeah. in conventional repair. repair. Right, I see. For uh, uh, pulmonary stenosis. This one? This one. Yeah. Mm, this, this, this one. This is pulmonary artery. Yeah. But usually, if, uh, if the patient has pulmonary stenosis like here, yeah. they made in, uh, he made incision here, here, here. Just, uh, just uh, along the 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 AB, AB group. group. Yeah. Just AB right. group. Just yeah. AB group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Just AB group. Mm -hmm. So, but the uh, conduction maybe I think uh, is it okay yeah. for the conduction? Yes. If we uh, uh, incision make along the AB group like this, mm -hmm. is okay? I, I don't have any experience, but they reported, they, uh, sure. he reported uh, uh, to relieve pulmonary stenosis in collected TGA. Mm. Yeah, AB group. Yes. So can you show me the, this, uh, how to uh, prevent the, uh, the conduction damage? Yeah, yeah, AB group, AB group, mm. right. <coughs> Will the conduction pathway mm -hmm. differ if the corrected transposition is in a dextrocardia or a situs inversus position? I don't think so, but the, it, the more importantly, the ventricular artery relation may affect the location of uh, uh, conduction system. Uh, such a way that uh, if uh, it is DORV in corrected TGA, both arterial trunk arises from the left side ventricle, and in that case, there, there it is expected that pulmonary, in, in this heart, pulmonary trunk is here, and very, it, the pulmonary valve is atretic but very low, so that it is expected it was originally in continuity with the mitral and tricuspid valve at a lower level compared to higher level uh, aortic valve. So in this case, it is uh, expected to danger the sub uh, mm -hmm. uh, anterior pulmonary riding, but it is higher so that it is, it, it is a, ki a kind of double right ventricle pattern. Mm -hmm. It can be sub pulmonary muscular tissue, and then it would be safer to open uh, that pathway. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. <laughs> Your surgeon has more experience than. Maybe I think uh, it's very difficult to make the uh, relief of pulmonary stenosis through the AB group. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, there are, uh, the right coronary artery is very, very near. Very limited. Uh, here. Yeah. Very, very, very limited. Very limited. So have you uh, any, have you any the same experience? Do you have? Yeah. How many cases? The, in the conventional um, Not so many. Not so many. But some cases do that, probably two or three cases I did. Mm. So uh, in that case, uh, 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 do you explain the, how to avoid the conduction injury, the AB node? No, no. You, no, you, no. you cannot. No, no. But, but this is very interesting also in the sense there has been reports of, uh, uh, you know, uh, CCTGA, VSD with LV or tube. Yeah, like they do the Nikaido, they, yeah, they do a translocation operation uh, in the setting. But so I'm also a bit uh, intrigued to see how uh, aortic translocation is possible. Uh, didn't know. He said uh, 
uh, he didn't know. Uh, he said, maybe I think he said, there might be a, a conduction system damage. But the surgeon said, no, no, no induction damage. I cannot understand. Maybe Dr. Zohair can mm. shed some light on it. When you go posterior towards the, uh, the, towards the uh, what would be the mitral valve, but you have a very limited distance, you know, it probably will not be more than a centimeter at the most. Mm -hmm. And that, in most of the hearts, if there is pulmonary syndrome, you can be able to relieve the obstruction, but you know that in CCTGA, you don't have to relieve the obstruction completely. Mm -hmm. So if we are left with a gradient of, you know, 30, even 40 millimeters of that would be fine, because that would be in a way helpful. So you don't have to completely relieve the obstruction, but the, the maximum distance that, in my experience, that you can do is about a centimeter or even less to avoid the conduction tissue. And you can, you know, you can direct your incision posteriorly towards the, uh, the, the, the mitral valve rather than anteriorly because the conduction goes anterior. Mm -hmm. right. And again, in this spe particular specimen, the pulmonary artery is very small, but also there is a coronary artery, right coronary artery, just in front of the pulmonary artery. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, so if it is if it is not possible for you know not, uh, being very stenotic, or if there is coronary and in the way, then you'll have to use a conduit. LV. If you're doing a physiological correction, you have to use an LV to pulmonary artery conduit. 